Hey yo, what's decent? I'm gonna up in your face like a nightclub bouncer. You have a crazy Ubers match against my boy Tony Flygon, son. And when you put Ubers and Tony Flygon in the same sentence, you know you're in for one hell of a tough time, man. So he's just gonna switch right out into Zekrom first turn right off the bat. I'm thinking like, son, what are you doing? Like, that's some huge powerhouse. Then it dawned on me. I'm like, wait a minute. I saw that sleep talk say, you ain't slick, son. I saw that sleep talk say on Smogo, man. I'm about to switch out to my Diaga hopefully sponge whatever you sleep talk out into so unfortunately for him he scores the bolt strike which I'm gonna be able to resist being part dragon but to add salt to my wound he scores a critical hit and that's almost half my hit points man and I was like whoa Zekrom is not playing any games it's not happy to be catching any kind of nightmares from Darkrai anyway he switches right out into Chansey and I go for the fire blast after setting up the rocks knowing full well that obviously it's a Chansey's special wall so fire blast is not gonna do anything to it but I want to give him the notion that I'm just completely specially based. Also, if he switched out, predicting my scissor switching onto his fortress, I'll be able to catch the fortress with the fire blast. So that was actually not a bad move. In comes the fortress, I'm just gonna U-turn out, knowing that he was gonna bring this thing in. And um, I do have Palky, I was just gonna want to bring that in, but unfortunately for me, he has the red card, which shows me Zach Rom, so I'm just gonna be able to like want to switch out into my Palky like I wanted to. He's gonna predict me to go for the ball strike and bring in his Grudon, which is a nice play on his part. And and afterwards, I'm gonna set up a substitute, but I was actually thinking that I had the focus punch because in this case, that's exactly where, where I wanted to be in this battle. Thinking that I could set up a substitute and then afterwards, um, you know, use the focus punch. But I noticed that I don't have focus punch, so I just go straight for the hydro pump right off the bat. And I was like, oh my lord, man, like this cannot be happening to me right now. So I set up the substitute and then afterwards switch out into scissor, thinking that he was gonna want to stay in. But he was thinking that I had the focus punch and was gonna use it that turn, hence to switch out into Giratina. I'm looking at a Giratina with my scissors, so I'm like, I switched right out into um, my Diaga, thinking that this thing has either Will-O-Wisp or Hidden Power of Fire, and I don't want my scissor to bite the dust yet, because I know that's going to be one of the things that I can set up on um, two of his Pokemon, being that his Chansey and his Fortress can't really do too much to scissor, and I'm thinking like, okay, I could probably sponge a Dragon Pulse, maybe break his Substitute, and afterwards come in with a Darkrai, I didn't want Darkrai to break his Focus Sash, I switched out, I knew it had Focus Sash from the from the beginning turn, but I didn't want to break it down to a Sash as of yet, I don't think I have a spinner on this team, so if Fortress were to come in and set up Entry Hazards, that would be end of my dark ride and dark ride has two status moves that i wanted to inflict on as many party members as possible which is why i switched out early game so anyway in comes this chancy now onto my palkia and i was thinking about double switching but i didn't want to overshoot it because i was thinking that he might predict me to switch and then just like set up a stealth rock and palkia's face while i switch out into scissor so that's why i didn't like do that double switch now use fire blast twice just in case he happened to double switch again out into fortress because people like to double like to switch back out on the second or the third turn so i wouldn't use swords there thinking that he was gonna like bring in maybe fortress or um you know giratina but what i see instead is a grudon and now since i got the plus two i'm more inclined to feel like i have to switch out my scissor in order to save it for later on so it can flip more damage because i have the plus two so i pose that much more of a potential threat as opposed to me just being regularly based with my normal attack stat so now I switch out into Palkia or into the fortress I don't really want to set up a substitute because it's kind of pointless being that he still has Chansey that could like set, that could set up a, um that could soft boil so I know he's gonna soft boil I'm just gonna bring out my Rayquaza now hopefully he doesn't like have Ice Beam on this thing he hasn't shown me all his moves yet on that Chansey but he switches out into his Arceus Fire which I actually find quite interesting this is the first time I've actually encountered that thing I'm so used to seeing Arceus Grass Arceus Steel Arceus Normal Arceus Ghost and Arceus Poison, so this is actually the first time I've seen Fire, so who the hell was I the thing that could like sweep with Scissor? He knew exactly what he was getting himself into, so in comes back in his Grudon after I finish off the Arceus Fire. He's gonna Earthquake after I switch out into my Dark Ride because I need to save my Zekrom for later on because I'm thinking that he still has his Choice Scarf Zekrom that I have to deal with, and Scissor's Bullet Punch is not gonna cut it. So I have to, you know, be creative on how I switch out and how I play around him still having Grudon in play. I did double switch correctly, knowing for that he was gonna go into Chansey. So now I'm staring at a Giratina. I'm able to finish that thing off with a Dragon Claw. That's excellent. I was able to work around that and finish off a potential threat. So in comes back in his 
moving on. I know that Palkia is one of the only things I could probably finish off this thing at that particular amount of HP, but you have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, that if I kept in my Zekrom, I wouldn't have anything to deal with his choice guard Zekrom when it wants to come back in and sleep talk a move. See, I'm already three turns ahead. I have to hope that he doesn't have like a fire move, which is highly unlikely, but if he does, he goes for like maybe fire blast and misses. I could get a U-turn and maybe a critical hit outrage and maybe claim good game from the skin of my teeth, but none of that even happens. So I definitely had a lot of fun. And viewers, peace. What you doing?